diagonalization of matrices is wonderful. It makes computation of powers of matrices trivial. And this helps us when solving discrete dynamical systems or differential equations. Unfortunately, we cannot diagonalize all matrices. The problem is not so much the complex eigenvalues. We can use uh, complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors if needed, although I admit this makes calculations a lot more cumbersome. No, we always have enough, enough eigenvalues. That is not a problem. The problem is that we do not have enough independent eigenvectors, because sometimes the geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue is lower than its algebraic multiplicity. In that case, though, we have a second best option, the so-called Jordan canonical form of a matrix. Is it, it is as close as we can get to a diagonalization. In this video, we will take a look how such a matrix in Jordan canonical form looks like, and we will see that any matrix is in fact similar to such a Jordan canonical form. So let us take a look. So in order to define a Jordan canonical form of matrix, say GCF, uh, we first have to define a so-called Jordan block. So Jordan block is a square matrix like this. Uh, it has lambdas on the diagonal and then ones above it. So it's quite close to a diagonal matrix. The lambdas are on the diagonal, all the same, and then only the ones are above, and apart from that, we have zeros. So let us take a look at a few examples. For example, a 2 by 2 Jordan block. Here we have the minus ones on the diagonal and the one above. And a 4 by 4 Jordan block, for example. Here we put fives on the diagonal and the ones above. So you can really uh, recognize easily whether we have a Jordan block or not. Now we know what the Jordan block is, and then we can define uh, what the Jordan canonical form of the matrix is. That's a matrix which just contains a number of Jordan blocks. So Jordan block, Jordan block, Jordan block. That's the idea. Jordan blocks on the diagonal, and apart from that, everywhere are zeros. So the Jordan canonical form of a matrix contains uh, uh, all blocks of these forms. So that is the idea. And then uh, theorem one, which is uh, pretty difficult to prove, by the way, is that every square matrix is in fact similar to a Jordan canonical form. So small remark, so a special case of a Jordan canonical form is if you have only one by one Jordan blocks. So if you have only one by one Jordan blocks, there are no ones above, so you have only numbers on the diagonal. So a diagonalization is a special case of the Jordan canonical form. So let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have a Jordan canonical form with two Jordan blocks. Here the first, a one by one block, and here the second, a two by two block. So that's an example of a Jordan canonical form. And here we have another example. Here we have one Jordan block. And here we have another Jordan block. So there we have an example of a Jordan canonical form with two Jordan blocks. And as you see, both matrices are pretty close to a diagonal matrices, apart from a few ones. So that is what a Jordan canonical form is. And in the following lectures, we're going to see how we can find it.